Here's a new glow plug uh, for a 2012 Chevy Duramax. Um, this right here is a 12 millimeter that'll go like right on the, to pull that out. Um, this is an Autolite one. This nut right here you can use a 7 millimeter, or this right here is a 9 30 seconds, I think it said. Yeah, 932nd. You can use either or, it doesn't matter, they both fit good. So I'm going to start on the driver's side, uh, right here, and just got a 11 millimeter. I'm going to take off uh, the, the, what you call this guy, intercooler tube. There's your clamp right back here, and that'll uh, get me access down there so I can get my arms down there. So I got this uh, clamp loosened up now. So we'll get that one loosened up. So uh, once I got the clamp undone for the intercooler tube, I was able to pull it up, and then that way you're kind of, you know, able to put your whole hand and everything down there. Um, the, these must be stock GM. Um, assuming but it took a uh, eight millimeter um, nut there and then I just used uh, like a semi deep eight millimeter um, got back down there this is the one that's all the way in the back um, and that worked best for to get that one out for the electrical wire So this is the one that's all the way in the back. This is just a deep 12 millimeter. Um, able to get that pretty good. It's in the way. Yeah, there it is. But yeah, that'll get that out real easy. So now I'm gonna tighten up that harness there. And then I'm going to hold my finger here, but i got to get off camera to do it. But you would hold that so that the harness doesn't rotate in the metal or anything. You want it to be clear of anything. So this is the cylinder on the driver's side, uh, all the way in the front. I was just getting that one off uh, most of the way. But this one, you use that semi-deep. I probably could have used an extension. Probably would have been a little bit easier. Uh, but I got away with, you know, using the same tool set for everything. So now, I'll get my 13 millimeter again. This is a, a quarter drive, uh, full deep. Um, this one's probably going to work really good. I can get my socket on there. A little crooked here still. You got this lined up. Yeah, I think maybe, maybe a extension. Oh, there it goes. See that? It's on. And that thing's going to swivel real nice. There it goes. Okay, that one's coming out. And <clears throat> so far, these things, once they broke loose, I could probably take them out by hand, basically. I think uh, there was a, there was only one that did not look like it's been changed on this side for some reason. Maybe they, the dealership or whoever had it uh, just changed whichever ones were, you know, for the code that was coming up. Yeah, see, this is coming up by hand. Um, but I was getting a, a glow plug circuit number three code. Uh, this also caused. Uh, your uh, remote start not to work. Anytime you check engine lights on, your remote start will not work. All right. yeah, see, this one's a muddy one. Uh, the rest of them were like kind of cleanish. I'll show you over here. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> and this is the order that I took them out. So the very back one. Uh, 
it was clean. Second one in from the back was dirty. That one's clean, and then that one was dirty. This was this one was all the way in the front. So kind of weird. So, yep. Now we're moving on to the passenger side. Uh, this one's got an intake system on it. Uh, probably not much more different than the stock stuff. But first thing you want to do is uh, get this clip off. I already loosened it up and pull that off. Um, and then hose clamp, hose clamp, and we're gonna do some wiggling. There's that one's off. Anyways, get this, get this guy out of here. Probably be careful if you don't take this hose off. There's a little plastic nipple; it can break. So. Be careful when you're doing that part. Mine didn't break or anything, but I can just see that being a become a problem. So I wanted to show you guys um, a little bit about these uh, glow plugs. Um, you can do these in the vehicle also. It's real easy. Uh, you can also do it out of the vehicle once you get them out. Um, that way you can do some testing and see, hey, which ones were bad, which ones were good. Um, I like to change all of them anyways, just so that we have a fresh set. But anyways, if you were in the vehicle, you would just touch it here to here, and you'll get an ohm's resistance. You want to be 1.0 and less. So that's 0.9. That one was fine. Let's go to this dirty one. Sometimes you got to scrape off this dirt and until you get a, a reading here. Keep scrubbing. See, I think this was, uh, see how it's dirtier. Um, Okay, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go down here to the, the bare metal. If it was in the vehicle, you could scratch that a little easy, easier, but I'm on video, so it's hard to have another hand. So that one's kind of, I would say, on the verge of being okay, not okay, because well, we did have that 1.0, looked like 1.2, 3.0, you know, it's a little high. There's a 1. That one's okay. All right. And then we're going to go do this one. Yeah, that one's nice. Okay, we're going to cheat. Go to the metal down here further. At 66 ohms. Let's say that might be bad. Let's keep trying to make sure we didn't get a wrong reading. 66 ohms. So I would say that one was bad. That was uh, the one uh, driver's side all the way in the back. Yeah, pretty consistent right there. So that's way bad. And I'll get a brand new one. There's that uh, auto light. And we're just going to go to the metal, to the metal. Point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4. Yep. So that's a brand new one. So I went back, just loosened up the connections, retightened them. Getting a little bit different numbers now, but everything looks about even. Um, I also cleared the code, so I don't know if that just changed everything in here. But everything looks pretty, pretty normal now, so I think we're all fixed up. So yeah, now we're gonna got the hood shut. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try my remote start. Um, usually I go ahead and press the lock button, and then you hold your uh, start button.
Works pretty good now.